uh, certain cryptocurrencies are launching at uh, various periods, changing the cryptocurrency market. When consumers entered the crypto market in 2017, they could only own a small fraction of the currencies, which raise worries. Um, the market is going along with XRP, which is still in the top 10. So there's reason to be optimistic. The blockchain-based financial company, Ripple Labs Inc., has become a significant crypto payment solution. For EPO, uh, Ripple's original digital asset is also commonly used for cross-border payments. Despite their rising popularity, Ripple and XRP have faced several obstacles in recent years. A prominent crypto community personality, Luke Thomas listed 11 occurrences that might boost Ripple and XRP's financial situation. He believes Donald Trump's presidency may affect these occurrences. Thomas thinks the U.S. government under Trump will regulate stable coins, according to him. Uh, according to him, Ripple may introduce its much-anticipated stablecoin, Rallist, with clear guidelines. Ripple has partnered with key exchanges to distribute Rulust, although regulatory permission is still pending. Thomas mentioned XRPF approvals as the second possibility. He expects large asset managers like BlackRock to apply for spot XRPFs. They resemble BlackRock's Bitcoin ETFs, which have institutional interests. Thomas expects institutional players to provide XRPFs alone or alongside Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Solana. Bitwise, Canary Capital, and 21 shares have proposed XRPFs. Grayscale has sought regulatory clearance to transform its multi-asset trust, including XRP, into an ETF. Uh, a Ripple U.S. legal settlement is another major development in Thomas's expectations. Securities and Exchange Commission, the case is headed for appeal with filing date of January 2025, Thomas said the deal would likely entail Ripple paying the $125 million court punishment. The latest US political shift influences this forecast. Thomas believes a future Trump government may force SE Chair Gary Gensler out, affecting the case. Thomas also predicted Ripple's IPO. Ripple initially rejected a US IPO due to regulatory concerns. However, Thomas believes an SEC settlement may allow Ripple to conduct an IPO in Q3 or core 2025. Thomas thinks that uh, US banks will use XRI for cross-border transactions. He thinks one of the top five US banks may integrate XRP for these uses. A successful IPO may lead Ripple to strategic acquisitions, notably in real-world assets. Ripple bought Medico to show its interest in asset tokenization. Thomas expects a market shift from meme coins and non-utility tokens after a defined crypto policy. He thinks this transition will favor utility-focused assets like XRP that offer financial services benefits. He noted that clear crypto legislation will let banks use digital assets and regular banking services. Uh, Generation X and boomers might manage cryptocurrencies like XRP on their bank accounts, mobile smart wallets. Uh, Thomas teased a Ripple Swift cooperation. Thomas expects Swift to join the XRPLA system for cross-border payments and real estate tokenization. Thomas believes it may benefit both parties, even if the current environment makes it improbable. Thomas also expects Ripple to keep pushing its central bank digital currency position. This might establish XRP as a universal bridge currency and increase its significance in crypto fiat conversions and stable coins. Thomas believes Ripple will become the first double digit trillion dollar crypto company when as crypto law is passed. Thomas thinks Ripple's international expansion makes this ambitious goal possible. Thomas's predictions suggest huge improvements in Ripple's operations. XRP's market share and digital assets significance in global banking. XRP chart analysts discuss the issue in this video. They explore how crypto markets have taken off in the four-year cycle post-election and then how XRP has never been more prepared. Historical precedents and market history are important to chart analysts like Mikey Bull Crypto and 360 Trader. Mikey Bull Crypto thinks people will keep acting the same with behavioral patterns and biological robots repeating itself. He also stresses the need of studying prior elections and market effects. Before the U.S. presidential election, many believed Trump would win and Bitcoin took off thereafter. Since then, several new highs have occurred, as was predicted given historical pattern. 360 trader mocks XRP, yet his work is reliable and intelligent. He shares charts that are similar or similar to the current market cycle, such as the XRP uses chart from a few years ago, where he wrote... You're tired of XRP. The Yeet Zealots have been bullposting every day for three years. The price pinch is occurring here. It's one zero days long lulling you to two. Sleep now. Um, the explosion is coming sooner rather than later. 
The video concludes by highlighting the importance of understanding historical precedents uh, and the potential for XRP to continue to grow and thrive in the coming months. Uh, it is essential to remember that the market is not perfect and may not hit a new all-time high, but it is a testament to the power of historical precedents and the potential for future growth. In this text, the author discusses the concept of consolidation and narrowing volatility in charting, as well as the strategic breakout levels of AM crypto. Yeah. Author argues that while many analysts have drawn similar trend lines, they often overlook the apex point and fail to consider the potential for a breakout. This is uh, particularly important when the market is breaking out as it is unlikely that XRP will be able to break out without breaking out. The author also highlights the importance of considering the perspectives of people who do chart analysis and their ability to come to reasonable conclusions. They have been observing the same pattern in other crypto media outlets such as AMC, which has been consistently critiquing XRP and conflating Ripple with XRP. The author believes that this is because XRP is not a sentient being and it does not make sense for XRP to start talking like that with a mopey sounding voice. Uh, one example of this is the weekly XRP chart showing a symmetrical triangle pattern, which indicates price compression towards a decisive breakout. The upper trend line has been sloping downward since mid-2021, while the lower trend line has acted as ascending support. And the author questions why these articles from AMC are treating XRP like any other asset and portraying it as poor performance. They argue that when an analyst treats XRP like any other asset, they find that it looks good and is likely to be a good buy in this range. However, the behavior that is poor because there hasn't been a big burst yet is portrayed as negative, which is a stupid thing. In conclusion, the author emphasizes the importance of considering the perspectives of others when analyzing XRP and the potential for a breakout. By focusing on the apex point and the potential for a significant breakout, traders can better navigate the market and make informed decisions. The text discusses the volatility of XRP, a cryptocurrency that has been experiencing significant fluctuations for many years. It highlights the stability of XRP reserves and the potential for future gains. The author also discusses the concept of stable XRP reserves, suggesting holders expect future gains, but does not indicate that the market is about to be dumped on. There is a large influx of XRP assets. It may be concerning as people put things on exchanges to sell them. However, if they move sideways, it is generally considered a small Giselle. The text also touches on charts from various sources, such as the Crypto Bull Run and the Market Cap Dominance Chart by Dark Defender. While the author disagrees with the chart analysis, he believes that there will be a breakout, a new all-time high in XRP's potential performance. However, he acknowledges that the price of XRP has been artificially suppressed and the market will figure out when there is a mismatch and value. Uh, the author also discusses Ripple's XRP developments, including the court's ruling that XRP is not a security and numerous developments that Ripple secured. The author believes that the SEC has shown its ability to move the price of XRP more than Ripple ever has, and that data shows that Ripple's actions have not moved the price. The author also mentions central bank uh, digital currencies preparing for upcoming currencies, such as RLUS instead of the US dollar stable coin. They have not seen any official ticker symbol announcements, which he listed. The author respectfully disagrees, believing that such a currency will never appear on the XRP ledger. In conclusion, XRP's volatility, potential for future gains, and potential for central bank digital currencies are discussed. The author believes that the market will eventually figure out XRP's price when there is a mismatch in value, but the SEC cannot manipulate XRP's price more than Ripple has. Decentralized systems like XRP and Bitcoin offer benefits like reduced risk and increased processing efficiencies, but sovereign governments need to control their currency. The speaker disagrees with the idea of a crypto-friendly SEC management in the US, which would benefit XRP and the space, but they agree that the markets responded positively to this change. They also suggest that XRP could lead the crypto industry by reclaiming the second position from Ethereum. As the only crypto asset with complete regulatory clarity, XRP could take over its crown from Bitcoin. However, there is no indication that humans are behaving differently than in any other market cycle, so Bitcoin leads the market. XRP may not hit a new all-time high in enterprise discovery and become one of the top performers of the crypto cycle, according to the speaker who is being honest with themselves. And in conclusion, decentralized systems like XRP and Bitcoin are important for their efficiency, 
reduced risk and potential for growth.